Hey guys, I'm Clement Eastwood and this is The Art of Shire. So in this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you 5 mistakes you should avoid as a beginner photographer to escape frustration. Many times, the beginner photographer is the one or is the person who has not got all of his thoughts together. He wants to do a thousand things. He wants to own the latest gear. He is interested in the fame and distraction social media brings him. And in all of this, he easily gets lost in a year or two and then gives up on photography because he had no plan. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five things to help the novice. Thing number one, being a jack of all trades. When the beginner starts out as a photographer, his focus is on no particular thing. And this is good in the short term. As a beginner, you don't want to just settle for a niche without trying out other options first. Maybe you want to become a wedding photographer, this is you originally, but after tasting other niches, you realize that weddings are not your thing. You are more attracted to what, mm, let's say, street photography. In the first two to three months as a photographer, I gave myself to tasting. What do I mean by that? I mean I tried different niches until I found what was right for me. So during this short period, I tasted quickly and then settled with fine art. Thing number two, beginner photographers fear rejection and failure. I think this can also be applied with some professionals. Here's the news. You will fail, you will be rejected and you will be turned down. What do you do when that happens? You move on to the next thing. Don't dwell on rejection. That weight will only slow you down. I understand how it feels when you are rejected or something does not go according to plan. But whatever it is, don't let it stop you from creating more work. Moving away is the best reward you can get yourself. And be rest assured, you will fail, but don't dwell on it. Thing number three, you don't have to be a wedding photographer. By default, people think that all photographers are wedding photographers. Many novices, if not all, have the same mindset. I have to be a wedding photographer, even without trying out other options. I've shot weddings many times before I got into fine art photography. I'm not a great wedding photographer. I am not. I like my photo sessions all planned out. I would rather want to shoot the couple alone at a particular place in a particular time, you know, uh, a place of my choosing also and draw up concepts than shooting an event. I honestly don't have fun or think of the business aspect like the way it's been glorified on social media, you know. Having said that, I still shoot weddings of my friends, of course, only if I'm hired. So what I'm saying is that you don't have to be a wedding photographer. It's not a must. It's one of the many niches available to the photographer. But you do not have to be a wedding photographer to be a photographer. I'm just saying. Thing number four, not networking. This is a very big mistake. You should network. If you are just starting out as a photographer, go out and speak to other people. Talk to other people about your business. To you, everybody is a potential client. Build relationships and get over your shyness. This is important. Get over your shyness. Most of our clients come through networking and referrals. Thing number five, wanting the perfect tool. I'm not sure I can stress on this enough since um, I believe lots of photographers and youtube channels have touched on this subject dear photographer there is no perfect tool there is none there has been lots of debates about the perfect tool but this is what we should all know the camera does not make the photographer if you don't know what you are doing the latest gear will be of little help to you master your craft with what you have now save and purchase the things you will only need. If it's not a need, it doesn't need to be purchased. Now, thank you for listening to this episode. If this brought you value, 
please don't forget to subscribe if you have not done that already see you in the next video